Peggy 18 As you progress through the Division 2, you'll find new opportunities to further customize your gear through the use of mods. You'll be able to change the way your weapons feel, tweak the unique stats of your armor, and squeeze out that last bit of power from your skills. Mods are split into three categories, weapon mods, gear mods, and skill mods. Each of these categories works slightly differently, so let's take a look at the key points you need to know. Weapon mods in the Division 2 are one-time unlocks, and once you have a specific mod, you can apply it to any weapon that has the relevant slot. They do have bonuses and drawbacks, however, so make sure you tailor these to fit your individual needs and playstyle. These weapon mods are usually crafted after finding blueprints through completing missions in the world, some can be unlocked through perks, and some come from specific endgame sources like your chosen specialization. They are always the same for all players and have no randomized stats. Some gear pieces will have slots that will fit a gear mod. These gear mods have two main types, protocol and system, and while there can be some overlap, these two types have different stat pools. In the end game, each type will have further subcategories. Gear mods have random stats, as well as a level and quality, just like gear. Unlike weapon mods, they can drop from enemies, as well as being crafted from blueprints. Once you've picked a skill and a variant that you like, you can further customize it through skill mods. These are similar to gear mods in that they have random stats as well as a level and quality. They are also dropped from enemies and can be crafted to fit the appropriate skill and slot. For example, a turret barrel skill mod will only fit on the barrel slot on the turret skill. Skill mods also have a skill power requirement that needs to be met for them to be functional, so make sure you pay attention to see if you have the appropriate values. Okay, so now that we've covered the basics of modding your loadout, make sure to spend some time tweaking your build to really maximize your effectiveness in combat. Your fellow agents will thank you.